We'll be talking about the ovulation phase, which is actually at the end of the follicular phase of the ovulation menstrual cycle. And so the ovulation phase, even though it occurs at the end of the follicular phase, now if you remember the follicular phase is the egg producing phase, and the ovulation phase is where ovulation happens. So to make that easier to understand, it's when the egg gets released. So the follicular phase usually happens in a time span, but then you may notice the ovulation phase, and usually this occurs anywhere from 10 to 17 days within the cycle. But most women actually notice it occur mid-cycle for them. And some women even may notice they get a physical um, sort of notice of this, where they may get mild cramping for about a day or so. It's actually called ovulation pain or mid-cycle pain. And that can kind of let you know that you've ovulated. So sometimes that can be a good sign. When ovulation happens, um, hormonally, estrogen has been increasing the whole time in the other phase. But in near ovulation, estrogen's gonna peak. And when it peaks, it actually signals another hormone called LH for short, or luteinizing hormone, to actually have a surge. The surge actually opens up a window where the egg can get released. Now the window can last anywhere from 12 to 48 hours, though usually for most women it lasts about 24 hours. And so the egg is released, and that can be great because now it's gonna travel its path from the ovary down the fallopian tubes to the uterus. Now keep in mind that the egg is only alive or viable for one day, and sperm is viable for three days. And so keeping that in mind, if you're looking to conceive or get pregnant, this is gonna be your most fertile time in the month to do that. And so with that being said, you'll wanna have sperm available a few days before the ovulation window and a few days after the ovulation window. And that can ensure that if you're trying to conceive, you're doing it in the most fertile time that you can. If the egg does get fertilized, it then becomes an embryo. And then what will happen is it will want to implant into the lining. And if it doesn't, then it will just stay an egg and it won't become an embryo. And so this part of the cycle, like I said, with estrogen being really high, it's also the feel good time of the month where women may notice feelings of elevation, kind of better feelings, better moods for, the, for this part of their cycle. And as well, it also kind of gives that time where they might want to, you know, be ready for, you know, whether or not they want to conceive, kind of also relates into that. And that is pretty much the ovulation phase of the cycle.